at bottom. Repeat, at bottom. The world's oceans don't go any deeper than the Pacific's Mariana Trench. And Victor Vescovo set a record there for the deepest dive ever. It was a, an amazing dive. I think uh, almost exactly 12 hours, four hours on the bottom. Diving into the deepest parts of the ocean feels like stepping into a hidden world, almost like going to another planet. The Mariana Trench is so deep and vast that it makes you realize how small we are compared to the huge Pacific Ocean. It's one location that hides some of the most terrifying mysteries on our planet. It's not just a deep trench. It's a place full of secrets that we're still trying to understand. Scientists have been interested in this place for a long time due to its abundance of terrifying things. And what they've recently discovered is nothing short of shocking. So join us as we uncover the latest terrifying discoveries that scientists have made in the Mariana Trench. Exploring the mysterious Mariana Trench. Before we delve into some of the shocking and terrifying discoveries that scientists have recently stumbled upon at the Mariana Trench, it's important that we first understand what the trench is and how it was formed. An oceanic trench like the Mariana Trench is an extremely long and narrow hole in the bottom of the ocean. It's the deepest part of the ocean floor and happens where big pieces of the Earth's surface meet and push against each other. These pieces move slowly towards each other, sometimes just a tiny bit each year and sometimes more than 10 centimeters. The trench forms when one piece of the Earth's surface slides under another one. These trenches can go deep, almost 2 to 2.5 miles down from the nearby ocean floor. There are a few of these deep trenches in the world's oceans, but the deepest one is called the Mariana Trench. It's in the Pacific Ocean, and it's more than 1,580 miles long in a curved shape. But what's interesting about the Mariana Trench isn't how long it is, it's how deep it goes. It's so deep that we haven't been able to explore it much because it's really hard to go that far down in the ocean. It's been measured to be at least 36,070 feet deep using sound waves sent through the water. Because the Mariana Trench is near Guam and some other islands that are connected to the United States, the U.S. is in charge of taking care of it. In 2009, the president made it a special protected place called the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument. This means that an area of about 195,000 square miles of the ocean floor and water around the islands is set aside and protected by laws to keep it safe. But how did the Mariana Trench form? Mariana Trench Formation The Mariana Trench formed because of a special place where huge pieces of the ocean floor crash into each other. This happens at what's called a subduction zone. Imagine two big solid pieces of Earth's crust, like huge rocky plates. One of these plates gets pushed underneath the other one, sort of like how a sandwich might squish together. This pushing and sliding make a deep trench in the ocean floor. In the Mariana Trenches case, it's where the Pacific Ocean's crust goes under the crust of the Philippines. The Pacific crust is really old, about 180 million years, and it's bending and sinking into the Earth's deeper layer called the mantle. The Philippine crust is younger and smaller than the Pacific one. At these spots where one crust goes under another, the cold and heavy crust goes down into the deeper part of the Earth and kind of gets melted away. Even though the trench is super deep, it's not exactly the closest spot to the center of the Earth. Because our planet is a bit like a squashed ball, the part near the North Pole is a bit closer to the center than the very deepest part of the Mariana Trench. Being at the bottom of the trench means dealing with a crazy amount of pressure from all that water above. It's like having more than 1,000 times the weight pressing down on you compared to what you feel at the surface. That's like having 50 huge jumbo jets stacked up on top of a person. That's why it's so hard for us to explore this deep place in the ocean. In the Mariana Trench, life for the creatures living there is different from what we're used to. It's super dark, and the pressure from all the water above is strong. Food is scarce down there because the trench is so far away from land. Things like leaves, coconuts, and trees hardly ever make it down to the bottom. 
and even plankton from above has to fall thousands of feet to reach the deepest part. But even in such a tough place, some tiny organisms manage to survive. Some use special chemicals like methane or sulfur to get their energy, while others eat smaller sea creatures. These little organisms are super important because they're at the bottom of the food chain, meaning other creatures rely on them for food. The Mariana Trench was first discovered a long time ago, back in 1875, by a ship called the HMS Challenger during a trip around the world. They used special equipment to measure how deep it was. This trip was a really big deal in the study of oceans. It lasted a few years, and they found around 4,700 new species during their explorations. Now, on to some interesting and shocking discoveries in the Mariana Trench. Mysterious Sounds In 2014, some ocean explorers heard a strange sound in the Mariana Trench. They called it the bloop. It was a strange noise that made the people who explored the ocean curious and a little scared. This sound was so different from the usual sounds in the ocean. They used special microphones called hydrophones to listen underwater. These hydrophones are like super ears for the ocean. The bloop sound was special because it was really deep and powerful, and it stood out from the regular sounds of the ocean. The crazy thing is, this bloop sound could be heard over a super long distance, more than 4,000 kilometers. That's like hearing something from really, really far away. People started wondering what could make such a loud sound so far down in the ocean. Is it a huge animal we don't know about yet? Or is it something to do with earthquakes? Even though we're curious and want to know, we still don't have a clear answer. The mystery of the bloop and what's hiding in the deep parts of the Mariana Trench is still something scientists are trying to figure out. But this is about to get more interesting. Scary looking fish. Imagine diving deep into the Mariana Trench. It's so dark there that our imaginations start going wild because we can't see much. In that darkness, there's a family of really strange and scary fish. These fish look scary because they've changed over time to survive in this super dark and intense place. The lack of light and the strong pressure down there have made these creatures adapt in creepy ways. One of them is called the fangtooth fish. Just hearing its name gives you a creepy feeling. Its head is small compared to its big, sharp teeth. And its eyes are tiny too. Another one, the hatchetfish, has a body shaped like a hatchet and it glows scarily because it's so dark down there. Then there's the anglerfish, which is like something from an alien movie. It has a glowing thing on its head to attract prey. These scary creatures are just a few examples of the spooky life in the Mariana Trench. It makes us wonder what other terrifying things might be hiding in that dark, deep place. Let's go even deeper into the mysterious Mariana Trench and discover another scary creature, the viperfish. This deep sea monster is known for being one of the scariest creatures in the trench. Just hearing its name, viperfish, can give you chills. The viperfish has a jaw that can open up to a shocking 90 degrees. That's like opening your mouth wide. And what makes it even scarier is the rows of needle-like teeth that you can see when its jaws are wide open. These teeth are as long as the fish's brain. So it's not just terrifying to look at, it's also equipped with a deadly set of teeth. The viperfish uses its huge, spike-shaped teeth to impale its prey, like a predator in a trap. Once caught in its iron-like grip, prey has no chance of escaping into the dark surroundings of the trench. The viperfish also has a cool ability. It can produce its light, kind of like a built-in flashlight. This along with its extreme adaptations, helps it not only survive, but do well in the super cold and tough conditions of the trench. If you think this discovery isn't scary enough, then wait for the next one. Underwater virus. Scientists found a really important virus deep down in the Mariana Trench, around 8,900 meters below the surface, which is a record for the deepest virus ever discovered in the ocean. This discovery is a big deal because it helps us understand more about the tiny living things that live in this super deep part of the ocean. They call this virus VBHMEYH4907, 
and it's part of a new family of viruses that infect bacteria in really extreme deep sea places. This virus is connected to a type of bacteria called Halomonas that helps clean up bad stuff in the ocean and survive in really tough conditions. By studying this virus's genes and how it lives, scientists can learn more about how tiny things survive in really harsh places. Understanding these deep sea viruses is super important because it helps us understand how they affect our planet's environment and climate. And it might even have some good effects on human health instead of only bad ones. But wait, there's more. The Dumbo octopus. Another scary creature discovered in the Mariana Trench was the Dumbo octopus. At first glance, this octopus might seem cute and harmless. It looks a bit like Dumbo the elephant, a character many people love from Disney. The Dumbo octopus has fins on its head that resemble big floppy ears just like Dumbo's. Because it's small and has that cuddly look, we might think it's harmless. But here's the thing. We can't always judge by looks. The Dumbo octopus is a great example of that. Even though it seems harmless compared to the scarier creatures in the trench, it's not to be underestimated. When it feels threatened, it transforms. Its body gets bigger, and its arms change into strong, scary tentacles. It's like a surprising and incredible change from a cute fish to something kind of scary. So the lesson here is that appearances can be deceiving, especially in the deep sea. Just because something looks cute doesn't mean it can't be powerful or even a little frightening when it needs to be. The creatures in the Mariana Trench can surprise us with their hidden abilities, showing us that things aren't always what they seem. But don't go yet, because the next discovery could be more terrifying. Giant Sea Spiders In the middle of the exploration of the Mariana Trench, scientists found some creatures that could give even the bravest people a scare. Meet the giant sea spiders. These aren't your regular spiders from land. These are way bigger and way scarier. Imagine spiders, but not on land, in the ocean. These Antarctic sea spiders are huge. They can grow up to 10 inches across, much bigger than the spiders we see on land. These underwater giants crawl and move around the sandy floor of the Mariana Trench, unlike other sea creatures that might hide in corals or rocks. Picture their long legs, like a spider's, moving across the seafloor. It's kind of spooky. Everything about these creatures, from their enormous size to where they live in the deep trench, feels like something from a scary story. Adding these giant sea spiders to the list of scary discoveries in the Mariana Trench shows us how much we still don't know about the world under the ocean. The Goblin Shark. The Goblin Shark is a unique and scary sea creature. It lives deep down in the Mariana Trench, and what's weird about it is how its jaw can shoot out super fast to catch its food. It hides and waits for other fish to swim by, then snaps its jaws like a scary missile to grab them in the blink of an eye. Not just that. Its skin is a strange pinkish-gray color that almost looks see-through, so you can kind of see its insides. This shark looks like something from a scary story because of how it looks and the tricky ways it catches its food. In the Mariana Trench, it's one of the scariest and most fascinating creatures around. But that's not all. The Barillet Fish. The Barillet Fish, also called the Spook Fish because of its strange eyes, is an odd sea creature that doesn't fit what we usually expect from ocean animals. Its head is see-through, like having a clear cap on, which is different and kind of strange. This see-through head isn't just for looks. It protects the fish's special eyes that point upwards. These eyes can detect even the tiniest bits of light in the deep ocean, helping the fish spot its food. But here's the cool part. The fish's eyes can move inside its see-through head, so it can look straight ahead when it catches something to eat. This trick is super helpful in the deep, dark parts of the ocean where this fish lives. The Barillet fish is an amazing creature that shows how life can adapt and survive in really tough places, like the deep sea, where it's dark and the pressure is high. Its see-through head lets us see its brain, and its always looking up eyes are pretty fascinating. Plastic Pollution 
The next thing scientists discovered wasn't a scary sea creature, but something much scarier. Trash. Imagine seeing plastic bags and other human garbage lying on the floor of the Mariana Trench. It's really sad and makes us think differently about this place. The trench is supposed to be this amazing, quiet, and isolated spot on Earth, almost like the last boundary. But instead of being clean and beautiful, it's become a dumping ground for our trash. This is a big problem because it shows how we're not taking care of our planet. We've made even the deepest and most remote parts of the Earth messy with our plastic pollution. It's a sad truth that wherever humans go, we leave our mark even in places that seem impossible to reach. Are you excited or fearful about the new discoveries made in the Mariana Trench? Let us know in the comments.